Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Shockwave 6 hybrid mobile application that will convert your Shockwave store into a hybrid mobile app and deliver a combination of both the native and web app experience to your customers. The Shockwave hybrid mobile app uses your existing website theme and can be downloaded from the Google Play Store and Apple App Store very easily. Apart from that, all of the Shockwave storefront features and functionalities are available in the hybrid mobile app itself. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the Shockwave 6 hybrid mobile application for the Android devices. It also works for the iOS devices there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I've already downloaded and installed the Shockwave 6 hybrid mobile app from the Google Play Store on my Android device. And also note that this particular mobile uh, hybrid mobile app supports the what we say as the push notifications. So right now you can see we have two push notifications from the uh, admin side there. So the admin has sent out two, three push notifications and the same notification is visible here on the uh, hybrid mobile apps shortcut as well. So to open the Shopware 6 hybrid mobile app, what you need to do is you need to just tap on that. It will bring up this plus screen and thereafter you'll be able to see the particular home page or the home screen itself. Now, as I've already told you that all of the Shopware storefront features and functionalities are available in this hybrid mobile app and this app basically delivers a combination of both the native and the web app experience to your customers. So that you have already seen that we have installed it from the Google Play Store and we have the web app experience within the native app itself. Now here you are on the home page or the home page as you can see right now on the home page on the top left hand corner uh, we have three horizontal lines. If I tap on that I can select or I can choose different categories and all of these store categories are visible here for the customers to choose. If there are any subcategories, you can choose them as well and the particular products under that particular category would be listed out on the uh, mobile device itself as you can see right now. So if I go back, I can again tap here on the clothing and the complete uh, products within the clothing category are being displayed here as you can see. Now, uh, uh, if I tap here on the three horizontal lines once again, here you can see that we have the option to change the currency of the store as well. So now if we choose it as euros, the products would be displayed in euros as you can see. All of the product prices in euros. If I select it as dollars, then all the product price would be displayed in US dollars as you can see right now on your screens there. Apart from that, what we can do is we can filter out the products as well. For example, I'm in the clothing, I can tap on the filter and I can choose, for example, color and red color and I can tap here on the cross button. So the product having the red uh, product attribute would be displayed only. So only the red one is just being displayed here. You can see that we're having the color as red there. I can also reset all the filters there and I can go back and the complete listing of the products would again be displayed to the customers there. So this was the category section on the left hand side and the option to choose the uh, currency for the store there. Now apart from that here we have the uh, search uh, icon uh, that is used to search the products uh, within all of the categories there within the store uh, and from here the customers can easily enter the name of the product that they want to purchase and according to that the product would be uh, what we say as populated and they can tap on the particular one to check the details of the product as you can see on your screens right now. So here we have the product name, the price of the product, add to shopping cart button, the description, the option to give a review there. We can also write a review for this particular one but we'll have to log into our account there. So right now I'm not logged into my account. I'll just show you that in a while from now. So this was the search icon. Then we have the account icon. If I am logged into my account, then I'll be able to see my overview, my profile, addresses, payment methods, and orders. Otherwise, if I'm not logged into my account, then I'll have to log into my account by tapping here on the login button. And then here I have to enter my registered email address and the password, and then tap on the login button. 
even if I've forgotten my password, I can tap here on the I have forgotten my password and I can reset my password again by sending an email there on my registered email address. Let's tap here on the back button. To log in, let me tap here on the login button and we'll be logged in to our account and now you can see the overview where we have the personal data. Here we can edit that up by tapping on the edit profile by changing our salutation, first name, last name. Uh, here we can uh, change our login data as well. That includes the email address and the password as well. To go back to the top, I can tap here on the bottom right hand corner on the arrow, on the top arrow. And let me tap here on the account option there. This is the account option that you can see on the top right hand corner, just uh, to the left of the uh, shopping cart. That is a uh, icon with the human uh, structure there then uh, apart from profile we have the addresses if i go to the addresses here we ha will have the default billing address default shipping address if you want you can add more addresses by tapping on the add address button then we have some uh, service hotline section there of the web store there that is visible here as well then we have the payment methods under the payment methods uh, you'll be able to see all of the payment methods and can select default payment method as per your own requirement there. So we have, for now, we have chosen it as cash on delivery there. Let me tap here once again. Then under the orders, we'll be able to see the complete list of orders that we have placed as you can see. From here, we can change the payment method for a particular order or we can repeat an order as well by tapping on the repeat order. And that would add the particular product into the cart once again. And then the customers can proceed to the checkout to make a checkout thereafter. So if I go back now, you can see that one product is in the cart right now. So let me show you the uh, checkout procedure after adding a product into the cart. For example, we can do it from, uh, let me go to the cart there. And let me remove this product from the cart. And uh, let me go to one of the categories there. Let's go to the clothing category. Show clothing. Mm, let me add this particular product uh, that's the main product with properties let me select a medium for this and let me tap here on the add to shopping cart the product has been added from here we can increase the quantity as well as per our own requirement there you can see the cart has been updated uh, if I have any uh, gift card number or in discount coupon code I can enter that up and I can apply that up as well Otherwise, I can tap here on the proceed to checkout button. I'll have to uh, agree to the general terms and conditions here. Here, my billing address, shipping address, my payment method. Uh, the default one is already selected. That is cash on delivery there. I can choose the shipping method from standard or ex express one. Then I have the summary and the grand total, the net total and uh, the value added tax. And then I can tap here on the submit order button. To place the order so you can see that the order has been placed i can scroll down to check the details of the order there as you can see right now so let's go back to the uh, shopping page and uh, this is the home page itself that i uh, was showing you earlier in this uh, particular video and here we have the banners of the website itself and here are the the uh, home page products that are visible to the customers there so these were the options on the side panel the search bar, the account panel option, uh, the shopping cart. Now let me show you uh, one more thing how to register. So let me log out of the account there. So I'll tap here on the account option and here we have the option to sign up. If I tap here on the sign up, then we'll have this particular section uh, for creating a new customer there. So we need to enter the salaryation, first name, last name, new email address, password, the address details, and then we'll have to tap on the continue button here to continue further and create a new account at the Shopware 6 web store itself. So uh, let me go back uh, here and let me go to the home page once again. So yes, that was much about the uh, Shopware 6 hybrid mobile application that basically converts your Shopware store into a hybrid mobile app and delivers a combination of both the native and web app experience to your customers. And I've shown you how all of the Shopware storefront features and functionalities are available in the hybrid mobile app itself. So that was much about the video tutorial today and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow there. 
if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead